and we're ready to go. Well, good morning and thank you for their patience as we work through some technical difficulties. I am Romanda Noble Watson, the Director of Public Relations and Communications with the South Carolina High School League. It is my esteemed pleasure to welcome you into the 2023 Boys State Final Press Comp Finalist Press Conference for Boys Tennis. With us this morning, we have coaches and players from classes 4A and 5A. Before we dive into our question and answers, we will have some words from the commissioner of the South Carolina High School League, Dr. Jerome Singleton. Thank you, Ms. Romanda. Good morning. And I too share my congratulations. We've had a great season. And we're culminating it this weekend with the state championship. You are our representatives. Please recognize that. Please continue to be great ambassadors that you've been all year and let the world see just how well we do athletics in South Carolina. You've got a unique opportunity to do that. We ask that you continue to be the best that you can. Do the best that you can, play hard to win, but recognize that sportsmanship is a big part of it. I know you will do a great job. Again, congratulations. Enjoy the press conference. This is a unique opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. And now we'll meet our participants for this morning's press conference. From class 4A, we have Riverside High School, who is coached by Heather Gage. Coach, please introduce us to your athletes. Hi, good morning. I have Scott Greiner over here to my left, which is the junior this year. And we have another junior, Connor Maddox. Thank you so much. And they will match up against Myrtle Beach High School, coached by Jeremy Howard. Coach Howard, please introduce us to your athletes. All right, good morning. Uh, to my left, I have David Rayner, our senior. And to our right, I have Nolan Cahill, our junior. All right, welcome on in. And competing in class 5A, we have JL Mann High School, coached by John Armstrong. Coach Armstrong, please introduce us to your athletes. All right, right over here, we have senior Miller Vogt. And over here, we have Sanjeev and Damatla. Sanjeev, welcome on in. And they will face off against Somerville High School, coached by Jesse Gladys. Coach Gladys, your introductions, please. All right, these are my two senior captains. Uh, number one single, Sam Demuzio. Number two singles, Edward McGall. Well, welcome on in, everyone. Sit back and relax. We're going to have a little bit of fun and answer some questions for our viewers here on Facebook. We will begin with our coaches, giving us a brief summary of their season. And we will start with J.L. Mann and Coach Armstrong. Please just give us a, just a few words on how you managed to get here to the state finals. Well, um, we had the privilege of having all returners from last year to this year. Um, so last year, I think we had a pretty strong team and obviously they all returned. So excited about Saturday. So you didn't have any, you had a few hangups or you, your season went just as you had planned it to go? Uh, yes and no. There was a few injuries along the way. Um, we're going to be down one of our starters from last year, Saturday. Um, but other than that, we were able to, you know, get through the season and get back to the state finals. Well, I wish your player a speedy recovery. And we're going to move on to Somerville and Coach Gladys. Please share with us your, um, your path to the state finals. Um, we had a, our core group of returning seniors. Uh, but we had a couple kids that moved out of district and moved out of state. And so we had to really, I think we grew a lot um, since that first tournament out in Florence. And, uh, but my core group of guys, uh, the three seniors at the top, uh, really I mean, showed up for us when we needed them. Uh, and when we struggled up top, um, our younger guys pulled it in for us. So we, we beat a couple teams that we didn't think we beat, and we lost to a team that maybe we could have beat. So uh, we were, uh, I think, 21 wins this season so far, and so I'm pretty proud, of, pretty proud of the boys for where they're at. Thank you for sharing that. And now we're going to move to Class 4A and a coach from Riverside. Coach Gage, 
can you enlighten us on your season? Yeah, absolutely. I think our our success really started at the end of last season. It was my first season with this group and we had a great successful season. Didn't go as far as we would have hoped, but um, that momentum really pushed these boys. The work they put in in the off season to get to the start of the season was phenomenal. I came up, I came out and saw every single player from top to bottom improved. Um, and they also just, in their relationships with one another also was something they really fostered in that off season. So when we started out this season, it was pedal to the metal, let's go take care of business. And that's something we really focus on is every single time we're on the court, we focus, be where your feet are. We're focused in that moment, put the distractions aside, got a really high academic team. Um, even this week throughout playoffs last week, AP exams, pushing times, doing all these things, getting up early after late night arrivals from a faraway match and they get up, they take care of business and then it's back to the grind on the court. So uh, we're ready that we've been, we've been challenged. We've had successful times on the court. We've faced some tough matches. Every single player on our starting lineup has been the person to clinch it. So we've all had that experience. Um, so everything that I want as a coach to be able to draw on for this big match that we've had a goal to get to is there. So we're ready. Wonderful. Thanks for sharing that. And finally, Coach Howard, um, tell us about Myrtle Beach season. Oh, all right. Can you hear me? I can. Yeah. All right. Um, like I say, uh, coming off from last season, uh, winning the state title, uh, we had a good course senior class that uh, helped lead us there. And this year, um, again, we have a good senior class that's helping us lead, but we have a good core that's our young group that came back off of that championship. Um, like I say, they had their mind was made up coming to this season. Coach, we're going to defend, defend well on the title. And that's pretty much how it went down. Like I say, our goal and our model was ride the wave. So what that happened, whatever happened this season, we're high, we stay high. If it's low, you just cruise on through it until we get back to the point we need to get to. Um, but again, this group, it's a fun year for them. Um, it's more laid back this year, uh, just because we have a young crew and uh, just having fun. And like I said, as coaches, we just adapt to them. But at the end of the day, we just make sure that mental is there and understand what the goal is and keep them on track for, uh, on pace, like say, to be there Saturday. And like I said, we'll come there and we'll come to compete. Whatever happens, happens. Absolutely. Well, thanks for sharing that. Thank you, coaches, for sharing the insight on how you navigated your team to the state finals. And so we'll move right along to the student athletes and we're going to stay with Myrtle Beach. And the first question goes to Nolan. So Nolan, how does it feel for you? Your coach talked about it, but being back in the state championship and what obst obstacles, I'm sorry, did you feel challenge you along the way? This feels really excited to be back in the state championship. I get to play a position my brother was at last year and Hope to be able to just hold up the Cahill name of just being the best player on the team and continue to win. And some of the obstacles we faced were like when we played the private schools that just had the really strong ones. And like I knew I was probably going to lose, but I didn't want to like tell that to my other teammates and say we still have a chance to win these matches. And we did. Okay. And for David, what will what do you feel it would take for your team? What did I'm sorry? What did your team do throughout the season and the playoffs that will help you get focused for Saturday's match? You know, we've always uh, kept our head high throughout the season. I mean, we're just always focused on uh, just playing our best. You know, win or lose, we're still a team, and uh, we like to work together. And we have one goal in mind, which is getting the state championship. And we're here, and now we're here to win it. So. Well, thank you for sharing that. And we will come back to you. And now we move to the opponents of Riverside. And we're going to go with Scott. What has been the most memorable part of this season for you? I mean, Coach is right. I'd say the most memorable part is like us being able to bond together and come together as one team and all work together for a common goal of making it to the state championship. And we've worked really hard all season for it. And now we're here and we want to bring it home. So, Connor. What would it mean for you to win that state championship? Oh, it would mean everything to me. It, we, we had an awesome season. Uh, this was my first upper state finals that we reached, and it was awesome to get the, the win the first time. And I, it would just be even great to end with a, uh, a state title. 
Okay, well, sit back for a little bit. We'll be back to you all shortly. And we're going to go on to the 5A student athletes. And we'll once again begin with JL Mann. And this question goes to both Sanjeev, Sanjeev and Miller. What would it mean to win a state final in your last year of high school? Yeah. In my opinion, I think it would be just one last ride, pretty much all the seniors' last match. And so hopefully, and on a high note, and hopefully we'll get to all spend the rest of our time in high school playing high school tennis together. Yeah, like really just what he said, our last ride, hopefully we can win again like we did last year and just keep it rolling. All right. And finally, we'll hear from, from the student athletes at Somerville. Um, Sam, I know you probably have been preparing for this moment for a very long time. What are some of the things that you've done to prepare yourself to get to this point? Yeah, so I mean, since seventh grade, the top three seniors we've been together, and I mean, we've been working hard all um, every year, all summer together, and it's really awesome just to see how all that work we put in together, we can um, celebrate it Saturday together and hopefully win a state championship. Okay, and, and the final athlete question goes to Edward. Why do you think the team has been so successful this far in the season? Um. I think it's because of community. You know, we've grown a big community since, like Sam said, we've been together since seventh grade year. And uh, in those six years, we've we've all just grown so tight, so close. And uh, even the new guys coming in who are maybe first year, second year, like they've, they've been welcomed and, you know, they've just found their spot on the team and they've just fit in and we've all grown together and become a brotherhood. Well, thank you all for answering those questions for me. And, and I've learned something about each of you, um, just listening to how you all speak. So during the press conference, we like to give the viewers a little of the fun side of both the of all the participants, coaches included. So with that, we're going to start with the coaches. Um, the one thing I want you to tell the viewers is if you were not coaching tennis, what other sport would you choose to coach? Yes, think about it. What other sport would you choose to coach? And we'll start with the coaches from 4A. I know, Coach Coach Gage. Oh, man. <laughs> well, they want me to say pickleball and ping pong. Um, That's too much I, like tennis, too much like <laughs> Honestly, I, I would take any sport. I, um, I don't know if I could pick one. Uh, to me, it, Anything that involves the mindset, mental, and grit, um, and then building those two to factor into the team aspect of things. So I, I, I don't know. I, put me on the court field, whatever. I, I'll take it on. I, I just love the coaching side of things. All right. Coach Howard, your turn. Tell us what you're a coach. Um, the funny thing is I actually do coach uh, <laughs> different sports. Oh um, yeah. So here at Murphy Town, I'm the varsity boys uh volleyball coach and I'm the assistant girls basketball coach. Oh. But if I have to choose a sport, um I just picked up golf. <laughs> so I, I would love to try that. So I'd be on the range a lot, just like trying to hit the ball. So it's just something new. But if I had to choose, it might be golf. So you think you can teach, teach a student athletes how to swing the ball towards the hole? Yeah, the focus is just hit the ball. <laughs> well, thank you. And now for our 5A coaches. So you all had a little bit of time to think about it. Um, coach Armstrong, what other sport would you choose to coach? Um, probably wrestling. Uh, I wrestled in high school. Uh, my granddad wrestled uh, Notre Dame and it's kind of a part of the family, but you know, it's so tough because my whole family, mom, dad, side, all grew up playing tennis. So, so you just put, me, put me on the wrestling mat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And finally, Coach Gladys, since you were the last, you had the longest to think about it. What would you coach? Uh, that was an easy one for me. I think it'd be basketball. And I've liked basketball since I was a little kid. Uh, it was kind of my first love as a sport, maybe even my first just love in general. Um, Love the sport of basketball. I still love to watch it, play it, try not to get injured while I do it. Um, but uh, I think I got better at tennis at some point, and, and that's why I ended here. So, okay. 
And now it's the athlete's turn. So I'm gonna ask a little different question for the student athletes. I know a lot of you all have some rituals that you go through prior to the prior to your matches. So I would like for each athlete to, to just tell our viewers what is your pre-match routine. And we'll start with 5A from Somerville. Sam and Edward, what is what is your pre-match routine? Um, yeah, I think <clears throat> pre-match, get a sub from Jersey Mike's, drive onto the courts and get there about an hour early. Get with my team, get some fuel in me, get ready to go, get William on the ox, and then just kind of vibe, listen to music. All right, Sam? Yeah, definitely uh, music has a big part of it for me. Uh, it really gets me in the mindset and hyped up to play some tennis. Um, also got to carb up, so I'm ready to hopefully last a long match and win. So, yeah, that's usually what I do. Okay, and now for our JL man crew. Sanjeev and Miller. Normally what, we, normally what we like to rock with is we we all come we all come after school. We all we all get our tropical grill rolling most of the time, our rice and chicken bowls. And then we all and then and then we get multiple speakers going at the same time. And then we start warming up as a team, doing our laps, doing our stretches, getting getting some hits in, and then and just hanging out, waiting to play. Right. Yeah, he really, really said it all. <laughs> so, that, so you, you, you all just do, just go, go with the flow. Exactly. Okay, so we're gonna move on to our four A athletes, Myrtle Beach, David and Nolan. Please well, share pre-match routines. It's not really a pre-match routine, but the morning of my tennis matches, my mom makes some awesome chocolate chip pancakes. So mm -hmm. I love those before my match. It gets me right. So that is a pre-match. You eat them every, every, before every match? Every important match. Oh, every important. Isn't all matches important? Yeah, I just say. <laughs> every match is important, but like, the more important the match gets, the more important the, the pancakes are. The pancakes become. Okay, I got you. I got you. Your pre-match routine? I'll probably have to say the same thing. His mom makes some very great chocolate chip pancakes. So you go to his house to eat the pancakes. Sometimes she brings them to the courts too. Oh, how nice of her. How nice of her. Okay, Riverside. So you had a chance to think about your pre-match routine. What do you have? Um, I love to do our dynamic stretching as a team. We go out on the court, we do our little jog, and then we'll stretch as a team. And I also like listening to music for the matches and getting a good 30-minute warm-up. All right. Yeah, and on top of that, after warming up, we all eat together as a team and like hang out and chill, kind of get in the zone, just be one together. And kind of like what Myrtle Beach said, if after we have a big win, our assistant coach, Coach Troy, he'll make this amazing schnitzel for us. And it's so good <laughs> after a big win. He makes it really well. Oh, okay. Well, good luck to all of you all. Hope you get your pancakes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Well, that's all we have for our coaches and athletes. I would like to take this time to thank each of you for your participation in today's press conference. And we, I definitely wish you well in the state finals. But before we go, let's tell everyone how they can catch you in action. So our class 4A and 5A will open action on Saturday. Um, all matches uh, this Saturday, May 6th at the Dr. Eddie Floyd Florence Tennis Center in Florence, South Carolina. And they would start, at, start things off at 10 a.m. Tickets for all state finals are digital and can be purchased at www.gofan.co. And additional information can be found on the South Carolina High School League webpage at www.schsl.org. Once again, thank you all for participating. Thanks to our viewers for taking time out to tune in to this press conference. We wish you all well, and this definitely ends our press conference.